So my name's Tommy Myers, Thomasina Myers. I'm the co-founder of Oaxaca. I'm also a food writer and a chef, and I'm here to talk about how chefs and restaurateurs can play their bit in promoting regenerative farming, uh, and really how the consumer has such an important role to play in helping us meet our climate targets. So my mantra is that three times a day we get to save the world through what we eat. And it's completely true, because if all of us collectively buy better, then we will completely change um, the climate because there's so much energy consumption that goes into the production and the transportation of food, so much water usage and of course that's not even putting into the ballpark of biodiversity loss, soil erosion and also the heavy use of fertilisers and insecticides which is killing biodiversity, which is killing the insects that human beings rely on to help grow the food that we need. Climate change is a huge subject. It feels intimidating, desperate and, and too big for us to tackle and yet we can tackle it. All of us can make the right choices. Uh, we probably need better labelling, we probably need better education, but it's a very inspiring message that all of us get to save the world by the food we put on our plates. Uh, for me, the absolute shock and scandal is that in the UK, 90,000 people die every year of diet-related disease. That's more than smoking and that's more than alcohol. I don't think people realise how bad our diets are. And of course, bad diets also directly relate to food that is grown really badly, badly for the soil, badly for the environment, badly for the biodiversity. And I think that people love the stories. They love to start knowing about where their food comes from, understanding the journey that the farmer has gone on. But in a much more selfish way, if you think, if you subscribe to the fact that we're ultimately selfish creatures, this is about the food we eat. It's about nutrition that we're giving to our children and how they're going to cope with the next pandemic. Because without good health, you know, we're, we're nothing. So I think on every single level, whether it is combating climate change, our own health, the health of our families, um, these huge pandemics, how we're going to survive against them, and, and the nutrition of the food we eat, it's all connected. So as, as well as being a restaurateur and a food writer, I'm a trustee of a charity called Chefs and Schools. And our aim of that charity is to convert the kids and how they eat one school at a time. So by putting one chef into a whole school kitchen, they can completely transform how 600 people view food and are actually able to cook food because we need a massive cultural shift. In this country, more than any other country in Europe, we have the worst diets. 52% of our shopping baskets are ultra processed. That ultra processed the food is killing people and it's toxic for the environment. Um, but we need to give people the tools to, to cook better food. So how do I get, how do I get you know, a thing of chickpeas to taste great? If I don't know that, how can I be inspired by the food? So we need to educate people to be able to cook better. And we need to make people feel excited about eating better. You know, good food is delicious ultimately, and eating sustainably can be delicious. It's not a boring, kind of devoid of flavour landscape where we all have to kind of eschew all the, all the delicious things we want to eat. It should be a landscape where we are constantly tempted to, to try new delicious recipes that happen to be also a good sustainable choice. So I think the entire landscape of, of food, culture needs to change. We need to attach way more importance to what we're putting in our mouths. We need to know the absolute direct link between what we eat and our health, which we've seen in COVID, sadly for many, um, but we also just need to be inspired by how a delicious a journey it can be. And that is about using chefs and restaurateurs and, and everyone in the public space to really shout about how important food is.